stick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling. Now. UFC flyweight contender Roxanne Modafferi back again. Thank you so much for the time. How are you doing today? I'm back and I'm ready for action. Definitely. Now, recently on in the news, uh, one of your training partners, Nico Montano, she tested positive for COVID. Are you worried? And did you get tested? Um, I've been tested multiple times recently you know i'm not worried um i mean it's too bad that her fight got pushed back um i'm tr i guess i should be i don't know i i'm trying to be careful around the whole covid topic mm. let's just say i'm not worried anymore for a long time <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> yeah i guess we got to tread lightly on that you know what i mean like yeah you know in public so I understand what you're saying. Now, let's jump right into your next fight, Andrea Lee. It's a pretty quick turnaround. Why did you decide to come back so quick? Man, uh, you know, I took a week off after my last fight. It was a pretty rough fight for me. Um, and I, <laughs> it was like Monday. I just got back onto the mat. And um, my manager texted me like, hey, you want to fight Andrea Lee? I was like, okay. <laughs> so I just say yes. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I've been training a lot of different things. Um, I'm better now than I was three months ago. You know, I'm, I'm excited that I'm, I'm a different fighter. You know, I just train really hard all the time. So I'm, I've improved even in this short amount of time. So yeah, they, they offer it to me. I took it and I'm ready to go. Let's talk about the Lauren Murphy fight. You said it was a rough one. Was it because you lost or more of like how you performed in that fight? Um, a bunch of different things. Um, I, I really, uh, <laughs> I performed well, I think, um, I, I wasn't able to prepare in some of the ways that I normally would have prepared. So I felt hampered and, but I, I was able to show a lot of the stuff that I learned recently. You know, I've been working a lot of Muay Thai stuff with my coach AJ in quarantine. So I got to show a lot of that. Um, I kind of got injured leading up to the fight. So that made a difference in my preparation, but I'm really thankful to the people at the PI, man, they got me back and, um, my trainer. So I, you know, it, it was okay in the fight, you know, so no excuses. Of course, Lauren Murphy performed amazingly. Um, you know, it's just a lot of things. Um, I wish I could have won, but you know, it, it, it's, it, you know, it's, it is what it is, so to speak. Yeah, it's the um, fight game. And you want to yeah. get the, the bad taste out your mouth, so to say. Get in there real yeah. quick and get the win back. All right, Andrea Lee, what are your thoughts on her and where she stands in the division? Andrea Lee's awesome. I think she's improved a lot um, since I fought her last multiple years ago. Um, she's tough. She keeps fighting tough people. You know, I think she's on a two-fight losing streak, but she's fighting really tough people. Yeah. So, it's, you know, you've got to say something about that. Um, you know, I think it's a good matchup. I think I can win. Um, so I'm going to go out there and bite down hard on my mouth guard and go. <laughs> Definitely. No, you said it was a rematch. I think a lot of people probably don't know that, you know what I mean? Because they, they haven't been watching the sport very long. So let's talk about it. 2014 Invicta FC 10. You defeated her by split decision. It was a, a fight of ebb and flow, right? Like that second round. She had you mounted, and in the third round, you came back and, and did a good number on her. What do you remember most about that fight? It was a scramble. It was hard. It was up and down. You know, I think my grappling won me the fight. Um, I remember leaving the match, like, limping for the next two weeks because of her kicks. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was a great a great back-and-forth fight. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people remember that, too, from that fight. Now, people always talk about evolution. What differences do you see in yourself you know, now compared to then? Um, everything. Everything's better. You know, my striking, my grappling, everything. Lee's last fight, it was um, versus Laura Murphy. And uh, many people thought she got robbed. Did you go back and get to watch that fight? And, and what did you think? I watched it when I was preparing for Lauren. Okay. And um, it was so close, man. I'm glad that I wasn't a judge. <laughs> you know, I, I could see, how, you know, either way, really. What do you think is the uh, X factor in this fight against Lee? What do you think is the X factor? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's experience, to be honest with you. And you and you fought each other before, which is important. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I gotta go out there and impose my will and control the fight. You know, I think 
who can control the fight better is going to win the fight. All right. Now, with, with the preparations, you said the last camp didn't go the way you wanted. Now, this camp, what are the big differences? Um, <laughs> I Everything. Um, I just have more of a consistent camp. Um, mm. The location, I can train in the cage. Um, and, you know, I'm back. I don't know. Just a lot of a lot of things. A lot of I'm getting advice from different teammates. I'm trying to like one of my for example, uh, Jordan the Monkey King Levitt yeah. just yeah. signed to the contender series on the contender series. Um, he's a great wrestler, so I started asking for his wrestling advice. Like I'm trying to, you know, ask specialists in the gym for advice on stuff. So that that's sort of, sort of a new thing I'm doing. All right, so you're picking the brain of everybody around. Not everybody, and, but a few, a few but people. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Now, I see that you, you do have uh, around the gym a bunch of talented women, you know, such as Sarah Kaufman and Emily Whitmire, and we talked about Nico. Speak about working with that level of talent day in and day out. It's awesome. You know, I've always loved my team syndicate. You know, the guys are awesome, of course. Um, it's great working with the women. Like, Emily's smaller than me, but she, like, wrestling lifts me and dumps me and throws me i'm like okay cool so i've learned a lot of like stuff from different female teammates um you know it's 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 awesome to be around a lot of female fighters with lee she actually fought one of your teammates joanne calderwood and and have you been working with her or have you even you know at least talked to her about the matchup a little bit mm -hmm. no see se secrets is it secrets secrets <laughs> secrets <laughs> Uh, all right. Now, what do you think is the uh, the path to victory against Lee? Is it pretty much the the same thing that happened in the 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 first meeting? Maybe. <laughs> You'll just have to find out. You know, I think it's I think it's going to be a different fight in different ways. You know, um, I, I can't predict what's going to happen. You'll just have to watch and see. And if you would like to hear me trying to talk smack or talk trash. You can check out my Instagram. Uh, I'm going to try to post this video that I made um, for my friend uh, Charlie Hill Productions, the Instagram. We have a nice little video there. It'll be hilarious. Okay, okay. I'm looking forward to that, of course. Um, now, um, with, uh, with the division, you know, you got Jennifer Maya, someone that you faced before. She's taken on Valentina Shevchenko at UFC 255 in November. What, you know, with the skill set that she possesses, what does she need to do, do you think, to defeat, to defeat Shef Shevchenko, to dethrone her? I mean, I don't know if I should be a little mean and say, first, you have to make weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> then um, I'm not really sure. Um, you know, just I, I, I can't really comment. I'm not such a great analyst. But, uh, you know, it'll be a good fight. They're both very skilled on the feet and on the ground. So um, I guess it'll be a good fight. I'm bummed that my training partner jojo didn't get to get that it was kind of a crappy situation but that's the fight game right yeah i oh, i agree with you uh, you know i was really looking forward to that fight now all right um roxanne thank you so much for the time you know you're you're gonna fight again september 12th this is a good matchup you know it's a rematch but uh i feel like you guys are totally different fighters now it's been years <laughs> And it's going to be a crazy scrap. Enjoy the fight. Be safe and all the best. Thank you so much. Tune in. Hey, guys. Sasha Platnikoff here, letting you know to tune in to SCMP Post Fight for all your weekly martial arts news.